in honor of Skeleton Week, I will be playing through Dawn of Sorrow with the spookiest build imaginable. Look at all this stuff. So, I've got the Death Scythe, of course. I've got the Mysterious Blue Hoodie. I mean, this seems better. <laughs> I'll save that for the very end. And the Skull Necklace, of course. Then Skeleton, Bone Arc, and Skeleton Ape. So I can do a little something like this. Oh my god. This is actually not great. Don't get me wrong, Skeleton is strong. But this Skeleton Ape Arc... It's like gonna fly over most enemies. I'll make it work. Otherwise, no skips, no glitches. Are you kidding me? We got a problem here. Enemies are too low profile. The odds of a big bone are one in one. Coffee break. Now the scythe is obviously very good. I think it's been nerfed a little, although I don't know. That's some crazy damage. Diddy, can you confirm? Diddy made this, of course. Did you nerf the scythe? Okay, this is quote unquote nerfed. Incredible. Anyway, check this out. Easy. Oh, I see. It's only plus 113 attack as opposed to 166. If there was any weapon in this game better than Claim, it would have to be the Scythe. Not quite, but it's surprisingly close. <laughs> Over the table. Are there any bosses this playthrough I'm particularly worried about? I don't think so. I think Soma might just be a little bit too spooky for everybody. The nice thing about the Scythe is that unlike Claim, you're guaranteed to have the final upgrade from a boss. And some people complain that, look, you gotta use a soul that you only get one of. I think that's the wrong attitude. That's that hoarding mentality striking again. It's actually much better that way. Eliminates a timely farm. Skeleton so far much better in the lab. Good question, let's try out the special. I can't try out the special. I press the button and nothing happened. So it should be the same MP cost. Now I did theory craft some new strats with this build. And a lot of this stuff is actually pretty revolutionary. Not to hype it up too much, but I think we're gonna see some of these strats in even regular Dawn speedruns. I'll show you what I mean right here on the lore.
Here we go. I think this will revolutionize the game. That was pretty good. I'm sure everyone's really impressed. But it's not quite at full power yet. I've really got to go to Hammer and buy some Mind Ups. But look, in a speedrun route, you have a lot of MP. That's not going to be a huge problem. I think it's got potential. Look at how quick that fight was. Courtesy of Bonar. Unreal. Okay, the Skeleton, I'm starting to think, with Skeleton Ape, actually a very good compliment to the Scythe, because the Scythe's got it all, except it's a little bit slow, and the range is kind of mid-tier. See, so yeah, look at that. I can really strike stuff from a distance here. I was really hoping that was gonna work. You're telling me I can't use Bone Arc on this platform? A complete scam. I would have been literally chilling near the ice blocks. It's a good point, did it? Eh? I would not want to use Skeleton plus Ape with a level one Skeleton. Too small. Oh, wait a minute. Can't do it yet. Blue hoodie all the way. Until, you know what? Until death. When it's me versus death. Mono a skeleton. I will switch over. Hopefully, everyone, uh, hopefully everyone finds that agreeable. If uh, there are any disagreements, let me know. Maybe I can use Sans for that fight instead. Let's go! Come on. Do I have enough MP? Oh, it's gonna be tight! It's gonna be tight! Perfect MP routing. Man. Sadly, I cannot give Bone Arc to Dimitri, but here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, uh, it doesn't have Skeleton Ape. What am I talking about?
Let Dimitri use the soul, the default one. Hmm. Back again, this time to check out the surprise soul out of Adidere. I see. I don't know, Didi. This one's kind of underwhelming. It's not even doing damage. <laughs> I had a feeling. Well, if we're gonna do this, we gotta do it legit. I will not use Skeleton. Big Bone. Truly, this is Skeleton Week. Oh, this is going to be tough. Hello, Lemon. Thank you very much for the 10 months. Congrats on the double digits. Really appreciate it. Very frustrating. When I'm trying to become Dracula, there's Dimitri, also trying to become Dracula. And when I'm out here trying to be a humble skeleton, even Dimitri out here trying to be a skeleton, this one-upsmanship is not appreciated. Very rude. I'm gonna show him what's up right here. That's right. I'm the skeleton. Surprisingly, just a million times easier than Dimitri. Alright, so we're gonna say goodbye to Bone Arc for a little bit. Because this is the signature Dawn movement tech, gotta use it for most of the game. Tell you what, I'll put Bone Arc on B. Alright, press one if you want to see Bone Arc. Press one right now. Alright. There you go, chat. Big chillin'. I'll do you one better. I'm going to go to the shop right now for Bone Arc MP. Hello, Dimas. You saw the Niarly video. Well, thank you. Glad you found it entertaining. That was such a satisfying challenge to complete, but I cannot lie. I have never been more frustrated fighting a boss. Thankfully, now we have video proof that you can defeat Menace with literally any weapon at basically any reasonable level, so long as you've got Devil. What a pal, that Devil. A uh, punch only rando redeem? Not a chance. Please understand. 
Okay, slaughter, that's fine. <laughs> if I can use punch related options, that'll be workable. Yeah, today, Valman Way percent speedrun for Don. That's on the YouTube. There we go, I finally got enough MP for the special air. Speaking of Don Rando requests, thank you very much, Saber. What settings would you like? Giving it to Dimas, huh? That's fine with me. Kind of a handoff, that works. Please specify your punch request very carefully, or I will veto it with great abandon. And hey, look, there's a place on the Discord if you want to brainstorm on requests you've made. It's a whole random request channel, you can check that out too. I somehow got hit twice by that one Lilith. The worst possible spacing. That sounds fine, yeah. Kaiser Knuckle plus Punch Souls, that'll work. Maybe it'll be one of those situations where I find no kind of a punch and win with claim. Alright, so Puppet Master. Honest question, is this the scariest enemy in Dawn? It's probably objectively Gurgoth, but I think Gurgoth is a cutie pie. Okay, Skeleton putting in some work on those double hits. Alright, so also Puppet Master on B like that, okay. Where do I go next? You know what, I'm gonna change things up and fight Rahab first. Nothing spookier than an on-the-fly reroute.
It's hard to say what the intended route is. I think it's intended to be flexible. Like, Rahab is available and Gurgoth and Zephyr combined are available. Which is nice. Most of these Castlevanias have got unintended sequence breaks or routing splits. This one seems intended to me. Does Bone Arc work here? No. <laughs> Good idea. The reason you have to fight Rahab in Vanilla is to get down to the Silenced Ruins. Hey, what's up, Lennox? My apologies for that seed. I just don't know what to say. It was a rough one. And what's up, Roxas? Happy seven months. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the lucky number seven. Um, I'm wondering, does the blue hoodie give me resistance to water? I feel like those icicles should have been doing more damage. Oh, I loved it, personally. I'd be down to race that any time. Even with a seed like that one. It resists every elemental attribute. Yo, Sans. Let's go. Also, I got Skeletonate. Might as well use it here. Now, the reason you don't really need to do Rahab, there are many, many skips in here. There's one. There's an even better one out of the lab. All you gotta use is a Cut All Special or a Chinketia Special, and you're just in there with no underwater movement. So that's why in Glitchless you never see Rahab or Puppet Master. But this is an intended percent channel. That's all I can do for now. Let's go back. Do I think Clock Tower before Double Jump in Soden is intended? No. Maybe getting over the bridge? But then there's that one Medusa room where you can't get up with a single jump and there is absolutely no way they expect you to do the damage boost. But I'm glad that it's possible. Where's the bone arc? Right here. Oh no, he's coming!
Yeah, it's true that you can do like wolf stuff to make that happen. But here's my main counterpoint. Have you ever seen that one video where Iga's on the couch and Rom Scout is just speedrunning the game in half, talking about how it all works? If you listen to Iga's commentary, it's stuff like, please hold forward and please use the shield and we never balance the shield rod. There is no way the same person who made those comments was also like, yes, I'm a huge fan of advanced wolf movement in Soten. I personally designed the higher jump height off of slopes. That was a mechanic introduced by me. And I did that so you could get to top floor slightly more efficiently. I just don't buy that for a second. Oh, links are not allowed. But if a mod wants to post that, it's very easy to find. I would love for more people to give it a watch. Probably as relevant as Castlevania speedrunning has ever been. It's also got some choice YouTube comments. They crack me up every time. So Puppet Master plus Skeleton Ape is actually a great way to evade a couple of Gurgoth attacks. Yo, nice. Double hit Skeleton, and it's still weaker than my Scythe. My quote-unquote nerfed Scythe. Do I have any plans to do blindfolded runs? All right, I will risk a hot take here. I think blindfolded runs are fascinating, very impressive, require a very intimate understanding of the game you're playing, as well as stuff that's normally overlooked, like audio cues. However, it is kind of a gimmick because that sort of a run is only possible in very specific games. Namely, games where you don't have to see to win successfully. That seems like a truism, right? I mean, it's a blindfolded run, so of course. But imagine trying to fight Chaos blindfolded. In Soten, the bosses are free. Chaos is not free. What's the opposite of free? Expensive. Chaos is very expensive, and I would get washed probably a thousand times before I fluked into a win. So sadly, the games I play, one of the reasons I love these games so much is that they are very combat intensive. I don't think that's on the table. Best case scenario, maybe a YOLO blindfolded skeleton one and eight run where you just pray for the big bones. But would anyone watch that? I don't know. So yeah, the short of the long, when combat is intense, blindfolded runs are not super feasible. God, blindfolded Maxim might be even worse than Chaos, now that you mention it. Oof. I was rambling. I missed out on more sands.
<laughs> Let's go. That uses... There's no way that's five per second. Maybe it is. I do have a lot of MP. Now, can someone explain who is Gaster? Could someone give me a really short one sentence explanation? I'm just not up to date with the uh, Undertale lore. I don't know, spooky secret man isn't telling me a whole lot. Jokes aside, I think we're finally gonna get some answers in Delta Run about what the scoop is on Gaster. In fact, my hot take is that Gaster is gonna be the final super boss of Delta Run chapter seven or whatever. I mean, we already know that he's relevant because he's at the very start of chapter one. Here's some trivia for ya. Although I'm not a super expert in the original Undertale, there is a hidden value called like the happiness stat or something. And if you go into certain rooms at specific times with specific values, Gaster will show up and say a spooky cryptic things. The fun value, thank you. I'll right, try out this Gaster Blaster. It's terrible! DDD! All style, no substance. It's just Gurgoth with a Sans coat of paints. How disappointing. You want to see a proper Gaster Blaster? Might I recommend Portrait of the Realm? Or Circle of the Realm, whatever. Darren's Portrait fan game. That's got a good Gaster Blaster. It is the sand style, but not real sands. What is real sands? Can someone let me know what is real sands? Wait a minute, Comic Sans? Is that why Sans is called Sans? Oh my god, and then Papyrus is also a font. Oh my god, this is wild. Did you know that Sans is Patrick? I cannot believe that Toby Fox would risk that kind of flagrant copyright infringement. It did take people like three years to figure it out at least. But yeah, SpongeBob clip, warped audio but still, is uh, in the game. That's the Sans voice.
It really did take three years, I think. Undertale was, what, 2015? And I think the uh, viral video showcasing the stolen asset was uh, either 2018 or 2019. So maybe four years. Anyway, another classic Dawn farm right here. Papyrus is in River City Girls. I did not know that. That game looks good. River City Ransom is a candidate for best NES game. Not sure I've ever talked about that here. That is a bona fide classic, and I think a lot of 8-bit games have not aged gracefully. That one certainly has. That's a top fiver. Thank you. I think it's been a while. Quick break here. If you could change direction with Bonar, man, that would be so good. More bone arc, sure. Yeah. All you have to do is ask. Here you go. bone arc through anything. You are totally invincible. How has the fusion practice been? I'm so behind. I'm up to like sector two. Feels bad. Gotta say though, I was thinking about oil spill last night. I want to play that game again. My life is going to be empty unless I start speedrunning a game with the Oil Spill suit. There's only one game that has it. It's Oil Spill. I gotta make that happen. I feel like I'm close to a double hit, just not quite long enough. Oh, don't worry, I've got a plan for Menace. Alright, so I gotta do Axe Armor Farm right now. Do it this way. Climb the stairs before a Goonie with Bone Arc. That is a brilliant idea. I certainly will. Ah, 
I did not want that soul. I should have left the screen. I can't. It's a habit. Nice farm. If you try to go into the cutscene at the end as Bonark, yes, you'll auto untransform. Seems like another great spot for this. Don't mind me just coming through. <laughs> At least they don't transform. Pop quiz, without looking, can anyone tell me the drop rate on Killer Clown? Roughly. I will accept close enough kind of answers on this one. It's not 1 and 8 this time. It's not point eight. I don't know if I'd ever play this game again if it was point eight. I'm gonna give the win to Roxas. A five point six is very close. It is in fact four point seven. Basically five percent. I have now cursed you all with that knowledge. Sometimes I think about how much random Castlevania trivia is in my brain. And don't get me wrong, it's all very helpful. But it's a lot of stuff. I didn't think I'd ever memorize. I don't really know too much Metroid trivia. The only trivia that I probably know is what is the best Metroid game? And the answer there is a fusion, but that's not enough for like a trivia session. I would need to learn some more.
I'm gonna try that skeleton here. It's not great. Super is the best, zero missions the best. There's really no wrong answer. You can even make a pretty good case for Metroid 2, I think. Game's got great classic Game Boy sprites and uh, great mood. Very atmospheric. They're all good. How much ammo do you need to do a crystal flash? I think it's 10 of everything except for power bombs, which is 11, because you need to plant a power bomb. Am I correct? I'm probably not. Fraud exposure incoming. Oh yo! Who cares about paranoia? I got it right. Yeah. I'm glad I've watched enough a Super Metroid to know that. Would I stream Prime? No. I've decided that I'm only going to focus on Fusion. It's nice to have one Metroid game in my portfolio. But I sometimes think that people who don't speedrun underestimate how much time it takes to learn. You know, for example, you've maybe heard of the 12-hour challenge. Which is a really great event, great way to get people into speedrunning, where you take a game... Just pick some game, some category, and spend 12 hours learning it. And that's great, but that really only scratches the surface. Every new speedrun I learn, even for games I'm very familiar with, it's a 20-30 hour deal. And that's a minimum. If you really start grinding out a good time, it's hundreds. So I can't just casually pick up Prime to speedrun, you know? It's too much. Yo, nice. Oh, hang on. There we go. Puppet Master Skeleton Ape is just barely far enough to get past Mushusu. No, I didn't save. Let me go back and bone arc up the stairs. By popular request. Okay, finally, for the first time, I am pleased to announce a skeleton has surpassed the site. Let's go. Marginally. It's doing a six more damage with a double hit. But I'll take it.
I'm not trying to pat myself on the back too much. That Aguni fight was an A+. Those were some uh, scary good dodges. <laughs> Speaking of scary, death is up next. Give credit to the skeleton arc on the scares? How about give credit to me? God. Streamers just never get any respect. This room is another great chance for a coffee sip. Catch you later, Alundra. Yeah, the Bone Arc cannot travel off of ledges of any kind. Unlike the Rush Souls, which can. So, small difference there. Uh, just in case. I'm not sure how Menace is gonna go, so a little extra healing. Thank God it's over. Getting tired of listening to that guy every single time I play this game. Back to spooky.
Check this out. I heard someone describe that previous cutscene as the most anime moment in the game. This is the most anime moment in the game. 60 year old man. Going Super Saiyan. Great cutscene. Um, isn't Hammer the most anime? Debatably. In a bad way. But I'd rather not talk about it. There is a reason my PFP is Ari Hammer. Hello! Skellorang, huh? Hmm. Diddy, what's the deal with this? Something despawned? Man. Oh well. Apparently there was gonna be a cool throwable sickle. It's gone. What's the DD deal? All right, finally it's time. Thank you, Sans. Here we go. You know, this whole scenario right here has me thinking, wouldn't it be great to play as a Castlevania where you play as a skeleton and your goal is to gradually power up, explore the castle, get better bone gear and skeleton skills, and then finally fight and replace death as the ultimate skeleton of the castle. At the very end of the game, there is an unwinnable fight versus a Belmont. I think that's a million dollar idea. If I mess this up, I will get hit. Thank God. Let me go back and see. Maybe this scythe has returned. Uh, did it, is it normally right up here? Is this where it is? Because I'm not seeing much. Dang, okay. How did Celia get death on her side? Well, now that I've played Lament of Innocence, I can actually answer this. From the beginning, 
death has proven itself very comfortable with pretending to work for random goons to protect whoever owns the Crimson Stone. That's the official Castlevania lore explanation. In a nutshell, its real master is Dracula. But it'll go along with various plans to make that happen. Check this out. Oh, I was so close. Come on, man. I give up. It's possible. But definitely tougher in the Malakota room than in the Aranus room here. Uh, pardon me. What is going on? I'm about to use another potion. Look, using Hippogriff there is very boring. So back to... You know what? This is the one chance that Gaster Blaster will be useful. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, this thing's pretty good. Abaddon keeps trying the same thing. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Excellent. We got some use out of it. Uh-oh. It's fine. How much longer could this really take? Touch robbed. There we go. I believe bosses regain twenty percent, but I've also heard fifteen and twenty five. So I'm like 50% confident. Oh my god! Scary good luck. I finally got a first try one in eight. Thank you. Alright, so I do have a particular project in mind for the Menace fight. Just gotta get past phase one. Yeah. 
You have got to be kidding me. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for one spawn, and we're gonna test a little something out. I did it, he sounds good. I wanna see, are you kidding, man? <laughs> right, there's another one. There's two, let me just wait for a couple. Uh, that's three is a good start. I want to see how many spawns that we can get on screen at once here. Is there a cap? I want to know. Come on, gather around. We're having a nice a skeleton party over here. That's four. Like moths to a flame. Okay, five. You can't do this with Final Guard. They'll blow up if you use Final Guard. That's six. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. We got seven. We got seven. This is very important info. Uh, is this the cap? No way. It's gotta be more than seven. Problem is, once I untransform, that is gonna be rough. Well, I guess it's seven. Oh, hang on! Someone showing up a little late. That's it. I agree, I want to see at least a 10. Come on, one more? Look, Menace is right here, don't even think about- it. Actually, it's fine, if he wants to step, that's fine. I'm invincible. Menace, where is spawn number 9? Sadly, I think the max is eight. Can someone please write this down? You two can help prevent the spread of Castlevania misinfo. Now we know the max number. I think the HP is like 220, but that is not 100% sure. It's some number between 200 and 250. All right, I'm gonna go one more MP bar. And give up. Wait a minute, I just realized. This is another choice example of the Castlevania golden ratio showing up once again. It's not one in eight, but one to eight. Incredible. Yeah, Menace was just waiting. Just waiting for me to wrap those up. Here we go. Here comes the spam.
You better believe that question's coming up again for some future Castlevania Trivia Day. How many spawns can spawn at any one time on the Menace Fight? Oh, the special does a lot to the face. In fact, there we go, 113. It's way more with the regular sight, but this one is a little bit nerfed. Okay, skeleton coming in huge for the end of the menace fight. Wow, that is a good DPS. Who cares about the spam? I can just throw bones, it's fine. Getting close here, getting close. Getting close. I want a skeleton finish. Nice, excellent. So it sounds like according to DDD, the sickle issue is going to get fixed for the public release. So everyone, please, if you're feeling a little bit festive, give this a try before October wraps up. Some cool bonuses here. Had a lot of fun. Thank you again, D2D.